napakalakas na bagyo uh, in recent years ano uh, actually several months ago lang eh, talagang giniba itong uh, Cebu City at uh, dito nga niya nakita no ang sabi eh, dito niya nakita na kinakailangan na ang leader ng Cebu ay eh, yung isang katulad niya In the run-up to the 2022 elections, we go local. We look into the politics in your province, city, and barangay and talk to the leaders who have a direct hand in shaping your lives. I'm Jay Taruk. And I'm Cheryl Fossin. As, As they, they say, say, all politics, politics is, is local. local. In 1969, Margo met Thomas Osmeña, son of former Senator Sergio Osmeña Jr. and grandson of former President Sergio Osmeña. They got married in 1983 and settled in the province of Cebu. After almost three decades of marriage, Margo caught the public service bug and ran for city councilor in 2010, a post which she held for three full consecutive terms. From First Lady of Cebu City, Margo wants to become the first woman mayor of the city. She challenges the current acting mayor Mike Rama in the May polls. Tonight, we welcome former city councilor Margot Osmeña, who is now running for mayor of Cebu. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for having me. Okay, partner, mauna na ako. Ma'am, your husband is former Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña. Tama ho ba? And, uh, Tama. How, how did you get into politics? <laughs> how did I get into politics? Yes, yes. Well, because, syempre, magkasawa yes. kami, di ba? And from the very start, even yung, yung um, the time na, see, I'm going to mix my, my, my Cebuano, no? When he started in politics, I was there already with him. Uh, we had lived in the United States. We had lived in America for a while because his family was in exile. So after the Edsa Revolution, he came back. We came back with him together with my then two-year-old, our two-year-old son. And maski hindi ako marunong mag Cebuano, I was out there, out there in the field. So ako, um, I really am very grateful that my first exposure to Cebu was the people, the barangays, because of the campaign. Then, mm-hmm. That's how I got exposed. And I remained exposed because he was in government. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, sino po ang nagbigay ng interest? My husband doesn't ask me to do anything to tell him the truth. I'm very blessed to have that. That mm-hmm. all this time, he, I've always been a partner. But it came to the point, in fact, I even told him uh, early last year that Tommy, please don't run anymore. I think we belong to the museum now. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I said, you know, there was, we didn't, it was not a very pleasant experience in 2019 because things happened. Meron nangyari na, from the time that we, that Tommy practiced politics here in Cebu, or that well, was in politics, there were, there were events that happened in 2019 that were really startling and scary. So I said, maybe it's time that we cannot play this. Time to accept the fact that we cannot play this game anymore. The game of politics. But then again, so here I am, right? I'm running. I even told him, you know, Tom, I'm very proud to be your wife. Uh, that's what I want to remain. That's how I want you to be your wife. I don't want to be your widow. Mm-hmm. And less than a year after, Ma'am, you said in an interview that you wanted to bring back confidence in local government. What did you mean by this? Is there a lack of confidence in the local government now? There is a, you know, there are times, especially the last three years, and this is this is not only this is not only unique to Cebu, but we have all gone through the past two and a half years, yeah, of crisis. We, of course, we have. Pandemic, you know, where in, especially in the beginning, where no one knew what was happening. This was something that had never happened to anyone, and how to deal with it was really—it was scary, right? Mm-hmm. And then for Cebu, we had in December of last year, just as we all thought that we were going back to whatever we consider as normal lives, but that struck Cebu. That was really. It just knocked us out, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, there were 
people are saying in the pandemic, who is leading? Who who is the mayor? Who are we following? I mean, there were instructions given in the morning. It was like shoot shoot from the hip, you know, kind of kind of uh, shoot away kind of atmosphere that we had here. And then we uh, the typhoon came, and we were just it was like a nuclear bomb struck Cebu City. And for many days after, it was like, where is government? There. So confidence? Does not. Kung i-assess nyo po, ma'am, yung pandemic, pagbalikan ko lamang po yung pandemic response na ginawa po ng Cebu City, ano po ang inyong assessment? Kulang. Kulang. Kasi sa umpisa, Cheryl, um, yung, yung, they were even declaring here in Cebu, we are the most prepared city in the Philippines to deal with COVID. Don't worry. Soon up, because we are number one as far as preparation is concerned. And that is something that's documented that they were saying that. Mm-hmm. Then we did become number one, but we became number one in COVID. We became the COVID center of Cebu, oh. uh, of the Philippines mm-hmm. to the to so much so that they had to Manila had to send General Feliciano, General Simato to help out. You know, so we have leaders, we have we have a mayor, we have a vice mayor. Where were they? Mm-hmm. Who was leading mm-hmm. our city? All right, we'll just pause for a short break. You're still watching All Politics is Local. We'll be right back. Congratulations, NB Ribeta Loading Station headed by Dang and Nino for the opening of your newest Signal TV app here in Pulangi, Albay. To all Albayanos from 2nd and 3rd District of Albay, welcome to our newly opened Signal store. Congratulations, Enverebeta, uh, owners Nino and uh, Dang Rebeta for your newly opened store at Columbia Albay. Thank you for that commitment to really improve and level up as far as serving our customers there. And the Rebeta team and to all our dealers, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng support ng isa sa Looking forward to another awesome year with you. God bless you everyone and see you soon. Congratulations, MB Rebeta, for the opening of your newly renovated hub in Polangi. I wish you much success and as you know, we have been very successful because of partners like you and so we continue to encourage you to uh, go strong and uh, continue with pushing Signal as the top ATV provider in your area. Maraming maraming salamat. To all the dealers and subscribers here in 3rd and 4th District of Albay, we are inviting you to come and visit our newly renovated TV hub. So, ano pa pigal rin do? Madyan na kamo! Now is the right time. Be a signal dealer today. His name is Dr. Richard Kimball. This February, the battle between good and evil begins. Walk the fine line between following order. We're in trouble, man! What are you protecting these people, boy? And breaking the law. Please, please! Yes, you stop. You don't give up, Dan. The journey starts here. My God. On Saturday Blockbusters, only on Hits Movies. Load your prepaid account now or scan the QR code to know our convenient loading options. Welcome back. You're still watching All Politics is Local with us, former city councilor Margot Ospeña, who is now running for mayor of Cebu City. Ma'am, kumusta po ba ang uh, local politics dyan sa Cebu City? Makakalaban niyo po ang ngayoy uh, 
dating vice mayor at tumatay yung mayor na po ngayon ng uh, Cebu City na si um, uh, Mayor Rama. Kayo po bang dalawa? Siya po ba ang pinakamahigpit ninyong uh, china challenge or medyo masikip po at mainit ang uh, girian pagdating po sa pagiging mayor? Alam mo ko, um, Sheryl, uh, you don't take anything for granted, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. So, Mike Rama was with us in the very start. In fact, he served as councillor for three terms together with Tommy as mayor. And then he even became the vice mayor of Tommy for another three terms. Mm-hmm. And then when Tommy could not run anymore, he was the one who ran. So, Mike is somebody that we know quite well. And now we have become, um, I'm running, we're running for the same post, put it that way. I would like, sa, sa tingin ko, I would like to say that I'm an alternative. Uh-huh. So that's it. If you're happy, kung, kung ang mga tao masaya or contento sa anong nangyayari dito, then I rest my case. Ma'am, dito po tayo sa derechahan. Dito okay, ta- go. <laughs> dito, ta- dito po tatanungin na namin kayo kung ano ang inyong stand o opinion sa mga isyong nakadikit po sa inyong pangalan o sa lugar na inyong pong tinatakbuhan. Mayroon lang po tayong one minute. One minute na sagutin each question. Per, per question. Okay. Per question. Yes. Unahin din Parang presidential po, forum po ito. <laughs> Speaking of presidential partner, gusto mo muna bang mag-national? Oh, sige, B- before tayo mag-derechahan, eh, dito oh, gusto oh. na natin. Uh, eh, derechahan tanong na. Oh, derechahan tanong, sino ho bang malakas na presidential ball dyan sa Cebu City? We are endorsing and we are supporting fully Lenny Robredo for president. Lenny Robredo. Eh, pagka-VP po, kasi marami ngayon, partner. Combination iba, iba, eh. Iba-iba combination, di ba? Yung kinikiri. Uh, kasali na kami dyan. Ah, sino po ang pang-VP nyo? Tito Soto. Ah, uh, si... Okay. Because, Why? because si Tito Sen, taga-Cebu talaga yan, partner. Yes. In oh, fact, nga. the, the, the big... Palwarte niya yan. Uh-huh. Yung, yung the big, um, the big hospital here, oh, government hospital, is Vicente yeah. Soto. That's his Yes, uh-huh. So, ano ba natin? Roto, Ros, Robredo Soto, o Roso? Roto, no? Roto. Oo, ang tandem na dadalhin po ninyo. Dito na po tayo, diretsahan na po ito. Your husband, former mayor, Tomas Osmeña, accused the local police of partisan politics in 2019, um, blaming the Bu police chief, Colonel Garma, of receiving up to 800,000 daily from illegal gambling activities. Nangyayari pa po ba ito sa panahon ngayon? Diretsahang tanong, gaano po kalala ang sugal sa Cebu City sa panahon ngayon? Hindi ko masabi kung gaano kalala, no? Kalala. Hmm. Oh, but I'm sure it's happening. But you know, illegal gambling will not be able to proliferate without the cooperation of the police. Mm-hmm. They cannot just be there, and the police are against it. So if it's there, there must be some connivance. Mm-hmm. That's it. The Yun police lang. and the local politicians. Uh, you mean? Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> local, local from the ground, hindi <laughs> ba? Okay. So, yes. Okay. No, next less uh, minute so we can go to the next. Next <laughs> derechahang tanong. Okay. Uh 80 billion energy 80 billion peso oh. energy power plant and subterranean utility tunneling system sa Cebu City. Ang tanong po namin, ang derechahang tanong po namin, pabor po ba kayo dito o isa lamang papoging project na naman ito? Syempre pabor kung sa project itself, hindi ba? You want something like that. But I looked up the company. They have 11 employees. Okay. 11 lang well, naman po. <laughs> well, that's what it said, okay, where I looked it up. Uh-oh. And not only that, well, there's no mention of any prior projects similar to what is being discussed here. Mm-hmm. Diba you always look at the track record, yes. especially of something that size, mm-hmm. that magnitude. 
So if you were to look into it, let's yeah. check. Besides, anyway, it takes a long time before anything like that can Ago, even sorry. get approved. Because you have to go to the environmental, you have to, you know, public hearing, don't even know where it's going to be. So as far as the concept is concerned, who doesn't want something like that? But Correct. let's make sure it's done right by the proper people. Mm-hmm. 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 That's Let's talk about the reclamation project regarding build, build, build program po sa Cebu City para sa ekonomiya. Paboro po ba kayo o sumasangayon kayo sa eksperto na may mga irreversible damage po to ecology? You know, I think what I can discuss is the South, uh, South the SRP as we call it here in Cebu City, which was really initiated under my husband's term many, many years ago. And uh, that's about 300 hectares. That went through the whole process. Okay, it took almost 20 years. Hindi yan madali, kasi you you know you may affect lives like that, the environment. So my so my answer to your question, I mean we cannot just go and build, 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 build because we want to you know because we want to have more land or whatever. It has to go through the process. And the people affected have to be consulted. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, 2.65 hectares of land at South Road Properties, SRP, for the, for the terminal BRT. and depots required for the bus rapid transit project in the city. Ano pong stand you dito? Let them pay. <laughs> Can I give it to them free? Who's going to make money out of those terminals? Not the city, right? Hindi hindi yung hindi yung Cebu City. It will be those running the bus terminal. So why give them something free when they're going to be? You know, it's a business. It's a business for them. So let them pay. I, I am, in other words, I am not. I am not in agreement to giving it to them free. And uh, lastly, sinabi po ninyo kung papala rin kayong mahalal bilang alkalde ng lingstod ay pagtutuunan ninyo ang pansin na ang kalusugan. Paano yes. po ninyo lulutasin ang krisis ng mga city nurses ng city hospital na nag dahil sa di umano'y delayed na sweldo? How do you propose to give a solution to this? That's a matter of budget, you know. Uh, the giving of compensation that is due to them so that is you know how do you how do you appropriate your funds equitably why is it that people who are in the who are frontliners cannot get their salaries but there are bonuses being given to employees just for being employees why is it that you're able to get the bonuses immediately but for those who have already served you cannot give so there's something there we have to look into that now as far as the health challenges are concerned it's not only the uh, the uh, workers but also the public in general health doesn't mean that you have to get sick and then that we have the resources to take care of them let's try to to prevent them from getting sick also i would like to look into the possibility we do have a city hospital that has been in construction for many years but for the services the medical services that can be utilized or can be used in the uh, in the health clinics of the barangays especially the bigger ones we can work on a cluster system move it there why do you have to go to the hospital let the hospital be for surgery in the, you know for for more serious uh interventions mm-hmm. yeah. okay we'll just pause for a short break you're watching all politics is local we'll be right back to announce another Signal TV business success with the opening of our satellite hub together with our territory partner, Craft Trading in Palawan. This is another step towards the mission of Signal TV to provide value, content, and TV entertainment to all Filipino homes. We would like to congratulate Sir Alex, Sir Jan, and Mangers of Craft Trading for the grand opening of our Tai Tai Satellite Hub. Thank you for trusting and believing in our business partnership and we wish you all the success and more signal stores to open. 
In behalf of Craft, we would like to thank Signal Family in supporting us in providing another hub for Palawan. This is Craft's mission to reach out to more Palawanian viewers, providing them quality products and services with affordability and value for money. Come and visit our newly opened Supplies Hub here at Caltex Taitai Palawan. At sa lahat ng kapwa ko palawenyo dito sa Taytay na gustong magnegosyo ng satellite at ng signal, bumisita po kayo sa aming hub at ating pag-usapan ang ating magiging negosyo sa Taytay. Welcome back. You're still watching All Politics is Local. Still with us is Cal former Councilor Margot Osmeña who is now running for Mayor of Cebu City. At dahil na-warm up na natin, si Ma'am Margot, partner. Eh, okay, ito namang gagawin natin, yung ultimate challenge. Eh, ipatodo na natin dito. No? Kawagin natin itong host. Dan. Yeah. Osmeña. 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 <laughs> Balita po kasi namin, ma'am, eh, isa ka sa mga, o isa sa mga kinagigiliwan ninyong libangan, yung panonood ng mga pelikula o teleserye, no? Kung magpo-produce ng isang pelikula o teleserye para sa mga susunod na personalidad, anong role, bukod okay, sa pelikula ko, ang nababagay para sa mga babanggitin naming pangalan? O, oh, ready na po ba kayo? Yes, ready. ready. All right. Ang una pong uh, okay, ang una pong personalidad is ang ating pangulo, Rodrigo Duterte. Si Lolo. Lolo. Yes. Lolo. <laughs> para sa, para sa role na Lolo, tapos anong anong storya? <laughs> Yung pano, I mean, he has reached you know that part of his life. Sana he's looking forward na lang to being with family. Hmm. Magpahinga na, kumbaga. Pag oh. <laughs> Okay. Simple life. Simple life, okay. Simple life. Mm -hmm. At gano'n naman na yung gagawin niya eh. Nag-retire na, hindi na nga tumakbo. Una, una VP, tapos naging senator. Pero siguro naisip na niya na kailangan na magpahinga at mag-retiro. Maging lolo. Yun ang sabi niya. Ayun ang sabi niya. Okay. Okay. Ito po, ang next naman po, Vice President Lenny Robredo. Oh, ang inahan. Inahan is mama in, in, in Cebuano, no? So, ang inay. Ang inay. Ang inay. Ang inay ng bayan. Ang inay ng, you know, yeah. Ang inay. <laughs> Residential aspirant, Bongbong Marcos. Um, I don't know if he can play anybody else but himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, go to the others first, okay? Okay. Let me think. Let, let's go back to him. Partner. Okay, next po natin ang inyong oh. makakalaban, makakatunggali, Mayor Michael Rama. That's entertainment. <laughs> that's entertainment. Bakit po, ma'am? Bakit? Bakit that's? He likes that. He, he, he likes that. He likes um he likes entertaining people. He likes to sing, he likes to dance, you know. So, maybe that's his other calling. Mm -hmm. So, that's okay. entertainment. Next personality, si David Tumulak. Yeah, Dave Tumulak, yes. Uh -oh. Parang, he's a bumblebee. Ano yun sa Tagalog, bubog? Buyog. Buyog, buyog, buyog. buyog. Oh. Ang buyog. <laughs> he's, he, he, he likes to flit from there and there. And he's busy. He likes to keep himself busy. So, you know, yeah. Ang buyog. Buyog. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, very, you know, um, light. And that's really how I see them. And uh, that's it. I still cannot think of anything for BBM. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think yes. is your, um, your advantage to your opponents? So, an ano yung upper hand nyo sa mga makakalaban nyo this 2020? What is my, what is my advantage? What, what is your advantage? You know, aside uh, from having your your husband na naging mayor, no? Si... 
Tommy. Si, uh, oh, Tommy. Pero kayo, anong nakikita niyong advantage po sa kanila? Because sa I'm offering a different perspective now. If if this is the first time with God's mercy and with the support of the people, if I make it that we will have a mayor who is a woman. No. So it's a different it's a different way of looking at the same problem that we all face. And maybe uh, not maybe but using not of course only the heart but together with the, the, the brain, you know. And also I would like to say that I have a clean record. In the nine years that I served and I work as city councilor, I have a clean record. And if I may add, you know, if I may add, in fact, mayro na akong ano, uh, practice, practice, mag-mayor. Because <laughs> in 2016, um, sometime in May of 2016, after the elections, going into the next administration, I served as acting mayor because Mayor Rama then, Mayor Labella then, uh, I'm sorry, Vice Mayor Labella then, and we are 16 elected councillors in Cebu City. And I think of the 16, there were only four of us who were not suspended. They were all suspended. Okay? Mm-hmm. They were all suspended. And because I was the highest ranking in terms of votes that were cast on my in my name of the prior election, I was appointed as acting mayor. So, but that was only for six weeks. And and um ako, ako nga, I was I would I would uh, I would joke because it's a oh, mayor and I go, hindi ako mayor, I'm the mayor doma. Kasi I'm just taking over. I'm just keeping it. Mayor Doma. <laughs> Mayor <laughs> Doma lang ako. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, <laughs> because nobody voted for me. I remember yeah. even the first, um, you know, we have in City Hall, there is a flag racing ceremony on Mondays. So, no, syempre bet. So, I just said, you know, you're good morning, everybody. And I said, well, I'm only here because, because I just happened to be appointed and none of you None of you voted for me to be mayor, so let's go back to work. That's all. I mean, you know, <laughs> but 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 that's it. <laughs> so I have a clean record, and I'm proud of that. All right. Hihintayin natin ang magiging resulta. Thank you for your time, and Ma- thank you very much also for your for your giving me time, for you giving me time. My pleasure. Ayun. And my privilege. <laughs> thank, thank you for joining us. Um, former Councillor Margot Osmeña, who is now running for Mayor of Cebu City. We've asked the questions and gotten to know your candidates a little bit better. Cebu City, you decide. I'm Jay Taruk. And I'm Cheryl Kwasim. Join us tomorrow for another episode of All Politics is Local. Drew.